Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. So, so, so you, out of Adam, and what you still have of Adam, is not divine. You see, you can do something out of yourself, but that will never accomplish anything kingdom. Does that make sense? Yeah. It makes sense, yep. Yeah. That's what he's trying to tell you when he says the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. From a kingdom perspective, the mission of the kingdom, the work of the kingdom, the service of the kingdom is a spiritual work. And that spiritual work can never be accomplished by flesh. Yeah, there you go. I can't. Now, if that's the case, what I'm trying to get you to understand now is it's why it is that God commands you to have trust, to walk by faith, to live by faith, to just to live by faith. Because when it comes down to the kingdom, outside of your trust in God, you are paralyzed. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah, you are. Okay, he so said you can't do nothing without it. So you, par you, you are completely, totally paralyzed spiritually outside of the workings of God. Woo. So the key is, is how does God get this paralyzed person to become the instrument by which he now works? Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he wants you to embrace, not in and of yourself, you're paralyzed. Mm -hmm. But every time you put your trust and faith in me, I cannot work in you to call it a paralytic. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you see, you see it? Say it yes. Say it when they see the paralytic, they gonna know. <laughs> they are doing a paralyzed. <laughs> so, so there is never a moment when God is never expecting you to put His put your trust in Him, because it is your trust in God that allows God to work in you and to work through you. Yes. Amen. That is why He said, "If you be led of the Spirit." Right. Amen, brother. You see, if you've been led in the spirit, now, as, 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 here's another thing. Every time you see the scripture talk about law, yes. what it's really talking about it is, and, and, and it's, a, it's a difficult thing for people to grasp. And yes. every time I have this conversation, people always like, I don't see it. But every time you hear the scripture go to talk about law, all he's talking about is what you can do yeah. to, to please God. Nothing. He's really talking about the flesh. Yeah. <laughs> and when he tries to tell you, he's, he's, but if you're not in the spirit, you're not on the law. Well, what happens if you're not led by the spirit? <laughs> you, you ain't been <laughs> well, I'm not going to this day, If you're not being led by the spirit, you're under the law. Now, what does it mean to be under the law? Yes. It means that you are reading the Bible, and then you go out and you're trying to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you read scripture, you think you, when you, when you think you understand what it means, you go out and now you take fleshly resources and try to do divine things. Woo! That's a good word. It is. And, and in Romans chapter 10, that was the Jews' problem, and Paul said to them, you created your own righteousness. Woo! It is mm -hmm. not, it's not the righteousness of God. Yes, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I was at, Bishop. I was right there when we were talking about how these different uh, uh, people of government are saying, "Well, you're you're you believe if you're this, then you're going to hell." Yeah. And then uh, Romans ten six it says, "But the righteous, which is of faith, speaketh on this wise: say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven." Come on now. That is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep. That is to bring bring up Christ again from the dead. So that's what 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 came to my mind when we were we were talking on that particular subject. 
and I and I, I just I'm I'm in agreement with everything Bishop is talking about right now. Uh, now it's, it's, it's great. You what you read. If you if you get the kingdom thing now, he got two pictures there. Who shall ascend and who shall go down? Yeah. Okay. Now listen, Christ did all of that himself. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to go send somebody. He done already came down and he done already ascended back up. So in that picture, you got somebody who's got to go, who think they got to go and do something themselves. Yeah. As opposed to trusting what God has already done himself. There is a. It, there's a there's an idea that, that, that came to my mind. It's like trying to get somebody heart surgery by adjusting the the button on their shirt. <laughs> the, the area the area that we're working in, we can't work in, physic physic physically, spiritually. It's an operation. So a person's motivation, their spirit has to be changed in order for them to manifest even the fruits of the spirit. We're dealing with the external expression or behavior, and God is literally dealing with the motivation. And only he can deal at that level. On a spiritual level, only God can deal at that level. Only he can ascend to the to the, the descend to the depth and ascend to the heavens. He he's the only one that can actually perform a spiritual operation in any of us. Mm. Mm. So he literally telling us, forget about the behaviors. You got to put this in my hand and let me handle this. You do what I tell you to do, and you can assist me in this operation. But you can't perform the operation because you can't even you can't function on that level. Right. It, it's like going to a man. So you can stop a bigot from being from displaying bigot bigotry or bigoted behaviors by threatening him, imprisoning him, or shooting him. However you want to do it, <laughs> but you can't stop the source of his bigotry. You can't Woo! do that because that's his spirit. Yes. Yeah. If he has bigotry in his spirit. He is going to continue to wait for the opportunity to express that. And we see that by the votes of over 70 million people who had something going on in them that said, we want to go back to, to where Trump is at. We had laws that prevented them from doing that in their behavior, but we had no law that could cause them to change their heart. Right. And so the change of heart has to take place on a spiritual level, which can only be accomplished through God himself. And now we're getting an opportunity to do this. So he says, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. He gives us his word. He said his word is spirit. So when we start operating in his word, then we're actually operating on a spiritual level, which will impact people at a spiritual level, which will not only change their behavior, but will change the source of their behavior, which is their spirit. Right. And that's a, that's a, that's a heck of a move to make, man. I'm just... I'm getting revelation on that even through our conversation this afternoon. Well, oh, you know, it's funny though, because like I said, if we go back and take it from, if, that's why we want to separate, we separate the, the, the Christian Christ way now and just go by a constitution way. What you have is in the world's way, the, the division of the country where there's supposed to be a transition from one set of ideas to another under the framework of the constitution now you got people that don't want to accept it in the you know the normal procedure, right? There's a process in this country concerning democracy. You vote, and whoever gets the most votes wins. The other group graciously accepts it and move on. What we're seeing right now is the and I don't care about the process. I don't even care what's how it's written. Right. I, I wanna I wanna give you false basis of accusations. And now you're getting this riding. Con matter of fact, you probably get riding on the other side. Well, it to me it really shows why people are following this guy because they have the same spirit type spirit. Yeah. To where whether they're right or wrong, it doesn't matter as long as it's my way. Yeah. Right. See, now, now, see, now I think we get into this division because, you know, here's the deal. And, and the truth of the matter is uh, legally, he can do what he's doing. And, and, and at some point, the process is going to end. Right. But then it's easy to say this on one side, but not say it on the other. Because I remember distinctly. Four years ago, 
they protested the results and everything and talked all kind of trash. And not only that, boycotted the inauguration yeah. because of it. But yeah. just, and so there's but pain they, but they did. and it happens on both sides. So, they did, but did so they, just they, because yeah. But didn't they do it, Jimmy? Didn't they, they didn't they didn't they didn't deny the results of the election, did they? They didn't they No, they just they, talked against it, boycotted it, and did everything in their power to 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 incite the people and to disrespect it, which yeah, is but, the same thing. We can play we can yeah, play you're, semantics you're, if we like. You're but, pretty much but right. it's the same thing. I got a question for you. It's still kingdom, and, and I say it's still kingdom because it's talking about the motivation. Let me, let me it, you see, from the kingdom perspective, the election was stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the kingdom characterize any group to be one way or another based on anything. I think we have an obligation to the spirit of God and to the word of God to be that. Yes, and 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 let me just say yes, this. I don't I don't think that some of those things in the Bible were conditional. In other words, when he said to honor your mother and father, yes, I don't think it was honor them if they're great, if yes. they make sure that you're brought up in the right way, if they behave yes. properly according to the word of God. I don't think any of that was in there. When he said to pray for those that are in authority, those that rule over you, I don't yeah. think he said if you agree with them or if they, if you don't agree with them. I don't think those things were conditional. So okay. I think that from the perspective of the Bible, we need to stay neutral and true 
to that regardless because that's what God had led us to be. Then we're showing an example of Christianity and yeah. not assisting in division. Right. Period. Well, okay. Yeah. Right. Can I say we, 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 we should stay dominant? I think we should stay dominant to that. And, and I believe that that is one of the, the, the misconceptions that we have is that the kingdom of God is below or equal with these other kingdoms. We're not. We have preeminence. Our king is king. Our Lord is Lord. Our prayers are heard by God. And, and what we did was we took Mr. Trump and we elevated him to a realm or we took Mr. Biden to take Mr. Biden and elevate him to the realm of God. Neither one of these guys are gods. Neither one of them sit at the, at the at the level that our God does. And we can intercede on their behalf and God would touch their souls. He would literally draw them to him through their circumstances and situations. The kingdom compromised and the kingdom is constantly compromising with the world system to uh, to, 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 to relegate or to, or to degradate our, 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 our influence to the level of, of earthly leaders. Our God is God. We don't have to fear these guys. We don't have to comply with what they're saying, except where we're told to. But we well, do have to minister them, minister to them in such a manner that we bring them to the knowledge of who our God is and hopefully to even acceptance of him in eternal life. Mr. Trump needs to get saved. We know that. Mr. Barack Obama, through his behavior, says he needs to be saved. He needs to come to a place in Christ where his soul won't be lost. If he becomes president, he is president, but loses his entire soul, what benefit is it to him on a personal level? And how is it that I, at some point, lost sight of the fact that well, Donald Trump is a potential son of God, whether I like him or not, the Lord still died for him. You, you see what I'm saying? I, our I, job I can change. Our mission <laughs> never changes. And, and I have to uh, agree yeah. with Jimmy. He, you know, because he he's really making a valid point that we we need to leave these politics alone. Yes, sir. We really do. Because and, and, and when you really look look at it from from our our point of view, has Kingdom Trump affected any of our lives to where we cannot do the will of our father? No. Not, not, a bit. not a bit. Not that's one what, bit. So, bit. so neither will Biden or any other president right. in, or or government. Right. So, I'm I'm with you, Jimmy, 100. percent That we need to steer away from uh, uh, pushing division, right? Because that's all we're doing when we uh when we agree with one. Uh, well, let me say this last thing. We read the scriptures this morning as it, as it talked about division, yeah. and one was saying, "I'm a Paul, yeah. I am of Cephas, yeah. and all this." So I'm not of Trump, I'm not of Biden, I'm not of any of them. I could care Preach, less. Not I am of Jesus Christ. Come yeah. on, period. Okay. And, I, and I think that's the whole point is that when it, I think Fozzie on the bigger picture of this nation, that's what they're trying when we introduce the gospel or introduce our faith into this religion at this world or the nation level, that's where we get into trouble. That's when we start weaponizing. We, you know, we, in other words, how can you be a Christian if you're a Democrat? How can you be a Christian or Republican? The body of Christ is the time right now is to say, hey, we're backing out of this piece. And we ain't endorsing neither one of them at that point. You're praying for all of them. Right. Every and one of them. Every and one of them. And it kind of man, it kind of brings me back to what Brother Adam was talking about on the golf course. On the golf course, there are rules. You can't go in and endorse anybody that breaks the rules, right? There, there's rules to this, this this election thing. There's rules to transition of power or keeping the power. But if we will sit there and endorse one candidate or another candidate who's willing to break the rules, we need to, we as a church need to back out and so say we have no part of that. Okay, we need to let the world work that out, but we got to back off. But the problem you got is people endorsing at their faith level. Yes. 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 You got a greater problem there. Let me, let, me, let me just say this and I'll be done. Because the reason that, the reason 
Now, I want you to understand that the fruit of the Spirit is in Galatians chapter 5. I never did get to that. Now, I want you to understand that why do you think that it is important for you to know what those fruit of the Spirit are? Come on now, because the Bible says, preach and know about his fruit. Right. Now, let me show you something. You see, the fruit of the Spirit really comes down to you understanding what conduct, what character, Come on. what behavior, that is befitting someone who is part of the kingdom. Yes, sir. It is not, but it's only important because as you go to proclaim the gospel, Come as on. you as an individual go and proclaim the gospel, yes. the people that hear you don't need to look at your life Come and on. see non-gospel. Come on. Come on. Amen. That's the point. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Do you know how I never heard in your mouth talk about a gospel, this gospel of the kingdom, what about God is going to do all these wonderful things? And they're looking at your life and saying, well, if God is that wonderful, how come your character don't line up with that? Why are you so oh, That's the point. Why are you so divisive? Come on. So he wants our living not to get in the way of the work of the kingdom. Come on. Amen. Amen. So as you go and preach the gospel, come on. then your life becomes a testimony and a witness to the gospel. Exactly. That's why the fruit of the Spirit is, 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 are given to us so that we can understand and know that this is what your life ought to look like. Yes. So as you go proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ, you have a witness not only with your mouth, your <laughs> life, with your life, with your life, you got a with your life. Exactly. Now, now, so so when you start looking at this thing politically, the, 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 and Timothy, this is what he said. This is First Timothy chapter one, chapter chapter two, verse one. He says, I exalt them, I exalt them for that, first of all, the supplication, prayers, intercession, and the giving of thanks be made for all men. Yes. For kings. Come on now. I should bring that up. What, what scripture you what chapter you say? First Timothy 1. First Timothy 1? Okay. I should bring that up too. You're right. That's I mean, First Timothy 2. two. First Timothy. Chapter first two. Timothy. Chapter 2. Let me bring that up. Can we? We he just, says, I'm, I'm in zone you. Because, see, he's talking from a kingdom perspective. Now, now, he's talking, this is Paul encouraging Timothy from a kingdom, kingdom perspective, but he's talking about kingdoms. He is talking, yes. He says, I exalt you, therefore, that first of all, first. Yeah. First. <laughs> yeah. Before you engage in any conversation, first. Come on now. You need to have been on your knees. Come on. That first of all, supplication, prayers, intercession, giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, you might say president, the heads of states. Come on now. And for all that are in authority. Yes, sir. Now, why is he asking you to do this? Come on now, then. We. Come on. We. Because these people can have an impact on your life. Yes. We don't have <laughs> These folks have an impact on your life now. And, and they do. <laughs> they do. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life as we seek to fulfill the kingdom mission. Come on now. We want to do it in a non threatening, non antagonistic environment. Come on. While God has given up that space, now the time is going to come when the environment is not going to be peaceful. Come on. It won't, right? It won't well, you be better be learning how. You better be on the training right now. You better be learning all you can learn so that when, the, when, when all hell break loose, which it will, you'll be anchored. Yeah. And we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all, in all godliness. There we go. And on. Could say, and in, the fruit of the, in the fruit of the Spirit. And on. Yeah, yeah. And in honesty. Come on now. Truth. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who yes. will have all men to be saved come and on. come to the knowledge of the truth. Yes. So all I'm saying is that, that God is dealing with the individual. You, you think about this. We got a bunch of religious people. R religion has become a major problem in this country. Yeah. You, know, mm -hmm. you can say you love God, say you know God, say you're a believer, 
and your conduct and your character and the fruit of the spirit ain't nowhere present in your life. Come on. That's, that's history. Us. That's history, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Saying, okay, America, it's time for me to it's time for me to put the mirror in front of you and let you see yourself. Hey, that's, 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 that's about Democrats and Republicans. Hey, sir, how you this doing? This is about Libra That's what it is. But well, you know, this is about, about Brother Jackson and Brother Johnson and Brother Addison and Brother Hill and Chris and Brother Taylor and anybody who says that they've been washed in the blood and they're part of God's kingdom. Come on. Now, 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 now there.